latest on July 25th around the wide world of tropics. Here's your tropical weather bulletin. The tropics are somewhat quiet today with tropical depression Delilah coming off its tropical storm peak yesterday and will dissipate soon in the eastern Pacific. Some other systems could form over the next few days, particularly in the western Pacific. It's day 55 of hurricane season in the Atlantic and there is one small area of interest that has a 10% chance in the next five days in the northwestern Gulf of Mexico. On day 72 in the eastern Pacific, Delilah is moving on towards the northwest. To its south is an area of interest that has a 50% chance of development in the next five days. Invest 91W is intensifying and will very soon have a circulation that will, be, will put it through to tropical storm status. And in the southern hemisphere, there are no storms active at this time. Invis 91W has winds of 40 miles per hour verified by ASCAT and a pressure of 1001 millibars. It just needs to consolidate the circulation before it becomes a named storm. It's 229 miles from North Iwo Jima, Japan, 25.9 north, 137.6 degrees east. Over the next few days, we expect it to become a tropical storm, reaching the end of the week into the weekend. It will then go on to affect Japan, uh, possibly as a tropical storm, maybe a strong tropical storm even, if the HWRF is correct, and then sweeping through, moving on towards the northeast, most likely to remain fairly weak, and it will certainly be weakening when it does make landfall, if it does. Uh, this is a look at uh, Delilah right now because there is an imagery of this variety on 91W. Delilah under low amounts of wind shear, but that's not what's killing it. It's the low sea surface temperatures. Um, by the looks of things, uh, the convection is just really dying off, still blowing up a little bit to the east. Let's take a look at the wide views then. The Atlantic looking like this. You can see that frontal system in the Gulf moving through Florida along the east coast of the US. In the uh, deep tropics, not much really going on at all. Uh, one or two little waves pushing through, but uh, still at low latitude. And Saharan dust is very much dominating the eastern Atlantic. The Gulf of Mexico are close up here. Some thunderstorms blowing up over the Yucatan, Cuba, and also. Um, maybe one or two thundery showers in Florida too. Here's Delilah um, in the eastern part of the East Pacific there and that uh, area to, the, to its south, way towards the south there, 50% chance in the next five days. Further west there is still a rather complex little system there that's just northwest of Hawaii. I think this is the one that, that the uh, one or two of the models were developing to a weak system later down, down the road. Um, not seeing it there though. The western Pacific, here's 91W. Um, very close to acquiring that center of circulation. It's still too elongated to call it a tropical cyclone right now, and it may still be attached to that other feature further south. Uh, but the Western Pacific as a whole is getting a little bit busier, as you can see. A lot of convective thunderstorms, but no other invests. The Australia and South Pacific region uh, has also been flowing up a little bit, actually, near the Solomon Islands, um, but really nothing that is uh, reminiscent of a tropical storm. The Indian Ocean, some uh, heavier rains occurring over India today, uh, monsoon in nature of course, and no tropical cyclones on the horizon. Sea surface temperatures look like this, the eastern Pacific, very warm, 30 degrees along the coast of Mexico or even higher. The Gulf of Mexico also very warm, 30 degrees plus, Barry hasn't really made a dent on that in the long term. The uh, Sargasso Sea, the western Atlantic, very warm, 30 degrees in one or two little pockets. The Arabian Sea, quite cool actually, uh, except along the coast of India and on either side of India, temperatures of 30 degrees Celsius. Same too in the uh, Gulf of Tonkin, extending into the South China Sea. Now that 30 degree gradient is continuing to expand in the region and that will continue for a little while yet. Here's a close-up of Invest 91W. You look towards the uh, top there is where the low-level circulation appears to be developing, but uh, you can definitely see the rotation extending a little bit further south, so uh, I still think the circulation is too broad, but it is getting very close to becoming a nameable cyclone, given that it does have 40 mile an hour winds. Tropical Depression Delilah looking fairly weak here and dying off. We just threw this imagery in as well for your entertainment, I suppose, as it slowly uh, twirls towards the northwest. Not much going on with that right now, and of course, no threat to land. 
So the next name on the Atlantic naming list is Chantal. We were so close to getting it uh, earlier this week. Didn't happen, we had 3L instead. The East Pacific, the next name on the list is Eric. In the Central Pacific, we're looking out for Akoni. In the Western Pacific, the next name on the list could be this one, 91W, it's Nari. And the following name will be Wifa. In the North Indian Ocean, we're looking out for Hika. You can find Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com with the latest, our YouTube page, search Force 13 if you're not there already, subscribe if you haven't so far, and you can find our uh, social mediums on Facebook and Twitter, search Force 13 all in text to find those and to get in touch on your preferred. That's all from us for now, we'll have another Tropical Weather Bulletin tomorrow night. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron. You can see more information about all the benefits involved by visiting patreon.com forward slash force 13. You can also contact me on Discord. It's fool13 at extension 9094 and force13 on Skype. You can also find our server link to our Discord server for tropical weather chat in our description. <laughs>